Captain James Pogue here, the Marion County Sheriff's Office, with your daily crime report. It is Claws and Paws Monday, so we have Kate from the Humane Society here to talk to us about her little girl. Today I brought Brandy. She is a plot hound, and she is a senior. Um, it is Senior Dog Month, Adopt a Senior Dog, or Senior Pet Month, and we actually are doing reduced adoption fees this month for all of our seniors, and we'll be doing them till the end of the year. Uh, Brandy is a very, very high energy senior dog. She's very interested. She follows her nose a lot. Um, she gets along great with other dogs, as most hounds do. And she'd be perfect for a home with kids. And I, honestly, she might even be okay with cats. We haven't tested her at this point. Hmm. I know she's got big ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Better to sniff and smell, I guess. Well, I'm sure that she would make a great forever friend for someone out there, especially a senior. So make sure if you're interested, call the Kate at the Humane Society. And now on with the rest of our crime report. As you can see, we have some visitors here from the College of Central Florida's Law Enforcement Recruit Academy, New York, New York, actually, Mike and Anthony. Hey, Tony, how you doing, huh? All right, so someone entered an unlocked vehicle while it was parked out of home in, that was pretty pitiful, while it was parked out of home in the 3400 block of Northeast 57th Avenue and stole a Garmin GPS valued at $150. Then we had an unlocked vehicle. It wasn't your turn, it was his. It was entered while parked in the 19,000 block of Northwest 13th Street and someone stole a 20 gauge shotgun valued at $300. Deputy Garrels was contacted regarding a pending case of grand theft of horse equipment from Southeast Highway 42 and 290th Avenue. Deputy Garrels was able to recover some of the stolen saddles. De uh, Detective Palmatier responded to assist and subsequently arrested Timothy Witt for the theft. Witt was living on the property that the equipment was stolen from. Good teamwork by them. The investigation is ongoing for more possible arrest. Someone broke into a vehicle while it was parked at a home in the 10,000 block of Southwest 188th Court in Dunellen. They pried open the trunk of the vehicle. Upon entry, they stole a 9mm handgun, two assault rifles, and an iPad with an estimated loss of $1,800. I say someone knew what was in that trunk. What do you think, Mike? Oh, I yeah, think so. so units responded to the 9500 block of Southeast Mary Camp Road in reference to a robbery. The victim advised he was robbed at gunpoint by two black males as he was walking on Mary Camp Road. The victim stated the suspect stole his phone wallet that contained $82. A juvenile suspect was located and arrested, but a second suspect was not located at this time. Someone entered an apartment in the 3200 block of Northeast 48th Terrace by unknown means. They stole $1,500 in currency and several pieces of jewelry valued at $4,000. Deputy Green found a 2007 Saturn parked at the intersection of Southeast 19th Avenue and 31st Street with Jacob Stokes intoxicated and passed out at the wheel. Jacob failed the field sobriety exercise and was arrested. He was transported to the Gold Star Hotel where he blew a .138 and a .132. While being searched by jail staff, a small baggie of marijuana was located in his pocket. That's all for today on Monday. Please like us, share us on Facebook, and we will see you tomorrow, Taco-tastic Tuesday. There you go. Thanks for watching.